One of my pet peeves when it comes to design drawings is when drawings use or don't use line weights. So here are two side-by-side -side examples. The one on the left is one that I have some issues with, and the one on the right I think looks a lot cleaner, a lot tighter, and just a little bit more polished. So the difference here is line weights. So before we move on, what do we mean by line weight? Basically, line weight is the weight or thickness of an individual line. So you can see at the drawing on the right that the lines that are drawing with those exterior walls, those are a really thick line compared to say the bed and the cushions, those are really thin lines. That is thick line weight versus thin line weight. So what does this look like in action? So for the one on the left, everything is set to a default line weight. This means there is no hierarchy between things that are full-blown architectural items versus things that are like a throw cushion on a bench in front of a bed. They're all drawn at the same line weights. Whereas in this drawing, things that are more stable and are being cut by this invisible horizontal slice through the building, those are being drawn at you know, 0.25 millimeters and above. Anything that's just a furniture or feature is at 0.09 to 0.20 millimeters. And then details are just left at 0.05. So it can seem like a really small detail to change, but it really does make a difference when it comes to the overall impact of the drawing. In my mind, the right is always going to look better than the left. So what does this look like in AutoCAD? So here is this drawing in AutoCAD. And basically there are two ways you can control line weights in your drawing. I would say never, ever, ever control line weights by a individual property selection. So if you have a line, a single line selected, always keep that line weight set to by layer because otherwise you're gonna give yourself a lot of work to do whenever you need to change something or adjust something. So the two ways you can control line weights in AutoCAD are either via the layer properties or via a color plot style. Now, color plot styles are definitely gonna be those things that are really common that you'll find that if you join a new practice or a new firm, there will be a dedicated plot style that everyone uses, which means every time you use a particular color, say a red color or a yellow color, that color is going to plot a specific line weight. Now, once you have the time and you're all set up, I definitely say that customized color-based plot styles are absolutely something that's well worth the effort because it can make for an easy way to add new layers and really play with how the drawing is going to look without having to go into the layer properties every time. However, when you're working for yourself or you find that you are kind of working solo or working with others, I suggest working with the monochrome plot style a lot. And that's because in the monochrome plot style, line weights are not going to be determined by the color of the layer, but rather by the layer properties for line weight. The monochrome plot style is a default plot style in AutoCAD, so it will be available on any kind of installation you have. So it's not going to be a special plot style you have to figure out how to install and figure out how to run. It will be there ready for you and waiting. So how do you adjust the line weights to make sure they're going to be working correctly when it comes to plotting your drawings? So if you go to the layer properties manager, if for example it's not there, all you have to do is type layer and it will appear. Basically, this is a drawing, I've set it all up where I have all of my different layers for different items on the plan, um, as well as some other things that are more like to do with the title block and things like that. Now if I scroll over, there's this whole section on line weight. And here we can see that cabinets have kept at 0.18. Anything that's more kind of upper and not a cut object or a below object, I've done the 0.09, doors, 0.20, and 0.05 for the swing. And then going into furniture, we're kind of keeping it in that 0 0.13, 0 0.09. And then for things that are a little bit more heavy, we've put, gone into things like appliances at 0 0.20, 0 0.25, 0 0.25, 0 0.25, 0 0.25, 0 0.25, 0 0.25, 0 0.25, 0 0.25, 0 0.25, 0 0.25, 0
plumbing fixtures, 0.18. The walls, exterior, 0.35. And then the walls, interior, are 0.25. Now, this is just a lot of numbers, but the general principles are if a line is going to be cut by this invisible horizontal slice through the building in order to create your floor plan, that should be a thick line. Then anything that's going to appear kind of below that line, so things that are kind of below that invisible slice through the building, that's going to be a lot thinner. I also like to think about line weights in terms of the importance as well. If you have just a small detail in a design, so maybe it could be something like a throw cushion or things that are just um, there to add a little bit more uh, character or interest to an object in the drawing, I would say those also would typically be drawn very, very thin. But essentially, you want to structure it where you set up a particular line weight for any layer that you use in your drawing. That way, when you actually go to draw it, you have these different layers and you don't have to worry about line weight as you're drawing. Instead, the line weights will appear when you go to plot. Now, one thing I get asked a lot is how can you kind of preview line weights and can you maybe make sure you kind of have an idea of if line weights are set appropriately. Now, one thing I recommend is making sure this line weight display toggle button is activated in your AutoCAD installation. So basically, you can actually type LW display and turn it on or off or go to the little hamburger icon here, click and just make sure line weight has that check mark there. So now when you turn this on and off, it will actually show lines with thickness where you can kind of get an idea of what your line weights are going to look like even on screen before you plot. Now let's go to plot. So first things first, I'm going to change some things in my page setup where I can actually just focus in on this plan drawing and not all these other blocks in the template. So if I go to page setup, enter, click modify, and I always like to change it to DWG to PDF and change it to the paper size that you need. Let's just do a full bleed and I'm going to do a portrait one because this is a quite a vertical floor plan. Keep all of that the same. And then finally, we're going to go here to plot style. And because we haven't done a new customized color based plot style, we're going to choose the default monochrome plot style. Then we're going to say display plot styles. Check. OK. Close. Suddenly, this viewport into model space suddenly looks black and white. And if we go in, we can actually see that everything is printed you know, as it would if we went and plotted this as a sheet. So I'm going to actually then let's make this viewport a little bit bigger and let's go in, make it into a scale. That's a little big. Let's just do that one. There we go. And I prefer to turn off the grid. That's that grid mode right there and click. So now we have our floor plan. I can turn on my line weights toggle, zoom in and see those different line weights happening there. And all these line weights have been added just within the layer properties. I haven't had to adjust any individual settings or any individual properties. I've just worked within my layers and I'm plotting with the monochrome plot style. So it's going to adopt anything I've said within my layer properties. So now what we can do is say plot. Click OK. Choose a good spot for it, save, and now open it up, zoom in, and you have a PDF drawing that has really clear hierarchy within the line weights. So you'll never go back to this type of drawing on the left where everything looks the same and it looks kind of heavy and cartoony, but you actually can have things drawn with a lot more polish, a lot more precision, and just a little bit more of a presentation quality that looks more professional. So that's a really basic introduction on how to work with line weights, as well as a few good line weights to consider for your plan drawings when it comes to using these things in AutoCAD.
If you liked that video, check these out and click to subscribe where you'll be the first to see new videos I release every Monday. Thanks for watching!